he finishes all his uh, seminars by saying, never, 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 never give up. And I can't argue with him on that because persistence has been critical, um, especially with this, my new, my Chuckster's venture. We've had to be very stubborn to, to get everything in line and get everything approved. And um, so that was pretty important. Um, I was given a book when I graduated here from Greg Lang, who was a very successful student here. I'm going to share the words that he wrote in front of that book. He wrote, uh, think big, dream, pray, and act. And I'd like to encourage you to, you to do that. And, um, so I'd like to thank you for your attention, and I'd love to hear questions or comments. Uh, if anyone wants to look at uh, this business plan or talk about anything afterwards, um, there's a lot of resources that are available to you, but please, I, I love talking about other people's businesses or their plans. I love to brainstorm, love to, you know, put me on a list of people you can call or email to, to bounce things off of. And um, here's the contact information. Um, you can just get a hold of me through through the Shirtmaster site. Chuckster's site is not online yet, but it will be by next week if you want to kind of follow our progress as we open, uh, hopefully in the next next couple months here. So, um, you know, questions, comments. Think of a, uh, a bad business decision you made and what you learned from it. Um, uh, some of the, ba the bad decisions I've made, uh, I'm, I'm way too liberal about extending credit to my customers. I'm, I'm kind of a, a nice guy and I tend to extend credit very freely and that's burned me a lot of times and I don't seem to learn from that. And some, in some cases it gets to be lots and lots and lots of money and then uh, I actually, for the first time now, have some lawsuits and going to, to try to collect some money. But um, I, if I'd done my homework better and, and uh, gotten better about getting deposits and, and doing my homework and putting them through a better process to screen them out, I could have avoided that. Also, not doing my homework on, on hiring all employees. For the most part, we've, we've been very successful getting good, good people and they've worked out well. Uh, I did hire a woman two years ago, who I thought was going to be a star, and I uh, thought I did my homework, but I did everything except call her previous employer. Anyway, her first day on the job, she helped herself to $50 from the cash box, and it took us a while to figure that out and prove it, but um, we ended up letting her go later that week, and she's now in prison for some other reasons. <laughs> if, I, if I had done my homework, I never, never would have happened. Do you make shirts for the prison? <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you find uh, your relationship with uh, like the government? I realize you had to work through some some good parents kind of stuff, but how do you how do you build that relationship uh, to, to help your business? The relationship with with the government, uh, with the town, county. I don't know what the situation is there. Uh, well, those that were there this afternoon know that I, I have a great relationship with the town. I'm actually in a small town just outside Concord, and uh, the, the town planning board and everyone in, in the government of the town loves me because, first of all, I did what I said I was going to do with Shirtmasters, and not everybody does that. They try to get their approvals and then do more or do different things. So getting Chucksters approved with the town was, was relatively easy. The problem is with the state. The state, the town on the local level, they're, they're able to think a little more creative. And, and they, they like to hear what's reasonable and, and do reasonable things. The state just has their little boxes to fill in, and if they can't fill them in the way they do their job, there's no chance to, to make any progress. And so that's been a frustration, but we're almost over those hurdles. But just by another key with, with the town is, uh, for instance, when you go to planning board meeting, I've seen other people go in with attorneys and all set to fight and be like, we're going to do this. We don't care what you think. We're going to do this. This is all right. And, Blah blah blah, and I go in and I say, "This is what I'd like to do. I'd love your input. You know, I'd like like to see what what you would like to see happen here, and really work with them to come up with a site plan for, for both businesses that that works. And they love that, and they're very supportive. What do you promise them? I think that you've done since you left. What, what makes you the most proud? What was the one decision that was probably the most uh, it's a big, a big question. I think the single biggest thing I would say to that is 
if, if a guy like me that's not that smart and that dresses, I mean, this is dressing up for me, can, can go out and make a creative lifestyle like this for myself, I don't know really how it happened. I feel like it just kind of happened, but I guess I'm proud that you know, I'm in this position um, and that, that I have uh, you know, two, kid, two adopted kids with some kind of special needs and I'm, maybe God's given me the business success so that the resources are there to, to help my kids and make free my wife from having to work so she can really work with the kids. And, um, so I guess just the fact that I'm in this position when I don't feel like I, I earned it. So you seem like one of the smartest guys on the planet, Mark. I've listened to you all day. I'm really impressed with what you do. And I've been formulating this theory in my mind that entrepreneurs <coughs> are really the strongest when they're young. Because I know at my age, and I'm not the youngest guy on the planet anymore, my life becomes really structured and intellectual. Earlier, I could look at white paper and see things. Now, I look at paper and I see nothing. Do you believe in entrepreneurship is something that is stronger when you're younger? I'm not that old yet, so I can't. I, I don't know. <laughs> I do. I do know that I, I do have the ability to see things that aren't there yet, um, and not everybody has that. Like even when we when we bought the first building in Concord, and I told him this was a really rundown building. My wife said, "This is a mess. What we can do with this?" And I, I could see through that. And I said, yeah, "If we just do this and that, it's going to be beautiful." And it was. And you know, so she couldn't even see it, but she trusted me. And so now, you know, like I say, I, you know, this only my second business, but that's coming together and I've got ideas for three and four and five. I can see them. It's just a matter of making them happen now. Aren't you ever afraid to take that step up with the end? I mean, what could you tell all these young people about how to train and pay for yourself? Just do it. Just do it. I mean, you got to use common sense because a lot of people try and fail. You can you can lose your shirt, <laughs> but if you do, if you do, and then you can buy some more for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, just just do it. But get surround yourself with some good counsel. I mean, pray a lot. You know, you, use your your training, but get get input from people that are smarter than you and, and you know have some good things they can say. Use wisdom from people around you. But if every if, if everybody agrees with you that you've got a good idea, just do it. <laughs> okay, we need to stop there.